Hey guys, how's it going? Trickster here. Um, I know you haven't seen me in a while, haven't made any videos in well over a week now. Um, I guess I should have told you guys I, I was going to Miami for a trip uh, for the Bitcoin conference, actually, North American Bitcoin conference. It was pretty cool. Uh, we were there for about five days. Um, but with that being said, I didn't really even bother trying to get any OSCP stuff done. And, and that was actually kind of the reason why I went with the 90 day lab because I knew I'd be going on this trip. Um, and I knew the holidays and stuff, you know, still, I was able to do a lot of work through the holidays, but through this trip, I, I didn't do, uh, any work at all. I didn't really make any attempt to, um, but I just got back on Monday. Today is Thursday. And yeah, yesterday, or I guess two days ago, I owned four boxes, and then the next morning, or I, I guess yesterday, I owned four boxes, and then this morning, I got two more. Um, it's getting kind of late here, uh, so I'm going to go at some again, hopefully get a few more tonight. Um, but yeah, good news, uh, announcement here um, would be that, uh, and I saw my volume spike down there, so hopefully uh, uh, hopefully that wasn't too annoying. I don't know what happened, but anyways... Um, Basically, what I was saying is, uh, yeah, announcement um, here is I'm going, I plan on making videos more frequently. Um, you know, in the past, I was doing one a week. Now, I think I'm going to do um, two, maybe even three a week. Um, because, yeah, it seems like, you know, there's an interest uh, in this stuff here. Um, but with that being said, I want to I want to give more value to you guys. So let me know down in the comment section below um, what sort of content you guys would be interested in. I was thinking of maybe something like, you know, I could show you guys some tools and techniques and stuff like that. Obviously, I can't give anything away uh, with the OSCP stuff, um, even though there was that crazy leak that happened. I don't know if you guys were aware. Um, someone basically leaked a bunch of OSCP boxes. I didn't want to look at any of the boxes because really, if you think about it, the boxes, the lab only is there to help you really because I mean, you don't have to do the lab. It's going to give you extra points if you get 10 boxes and you, and you, you know, do write-ups of them. But other than that, the labs, the OSCP labs are there to help you. Um, when it really comes down to it, it's like when you're taking your exam, it's all you have is your own skill. So if you, even if you do cheat on the lab boxes, it's only going to hurt yourself. So I don't, I don't know why people would even want to do that really, but. Apparently someone leaked uh, almost all the boxes and, you know, they apparently they're switching out those boxes now too. So, um, but hey, maybe it'll be a good thing. Um, they'll get more up-to-date boxes maybe. I don't know. We can hope. We can hope. Um, a lot of stuff's kind of out of date. But um, with that being said, uh, right now I am at 18 boxes, um, which is pretty crazy to me. I just had a surge between like today and yesterday getting six more boxes like in such a short period of time. Um, but I think now I'm definitely starting to narrow down to the more difficult boxes. Um, and so like probably here in the future, things are going to be taking a little bit more time for me. Um, I'll try to keep this video kind of short. Um, like I said, um, but yeah, I'm at 18 right now. Once I get to about 30, that's when I'm going to look to schedule my exam. Now, ideally, right now, let's see, right now it is January 24th. Ideally, I would schedule my exam mid to late February. I think it's doable to get about 30 boxes by then, but we'll see. I don't know. Maybe I'll completely flop. Um, doesn't matter. I'll, I'll still be going at this either way. Um, but, yeah, once I get around 30 boxes, schedule the exam, shooting for... February, like mid to end of February. That way, if I do fail it, I have my lab time until March, beginning of March, so I can, you know, keep practicing in OSCP lab and go at it again with the retake. Um, but that being said, one realization that I came to, I used to take dance lessons, actually. Um, I used to take, like, private lessons and group classes and stuff. Basically, I quit all of that for OSCP. I basically you know, put all of my hobbies and stuff on the back burner for now while I just go hard on this, um, which I got to say, it's been pretty fun and definitely, I think, um, a good move. It was worth it um, to sort of really narrow my focus here. But um, what I was saying is basically, you know, I used to do dance and um, 
it was pretty expensive actually to do it. Um, basically to say, um, two months of dance was slightly more expensive than three months of the OSCP lab. So really when, when I put things in that perspective, I could, I could do OSCP pretty much indefinitely and be fine. Now I don't want to have to do that. That would really suck. Um, but in, in the worst case scenario, like, you know, there really is no pressure. Um, and I hope you guys, um, see that as well. Um, because OSCP is not that expensive really at all. So a lot of people, I think a lot of people are really fearful of taking the OSCP, but if you really think about it, there's not really any reason to be fearful. Like think about it, even three months of the lab is probably more than you're paying for rent if you guys own an apartment, you know? And say you don't own an apartment. Um, it's probably like pretty close to what you're paying for two months of a car payment if you have a car payment. Three months of OSCP is like less than three months of your car payment for sure. It's got to be. Um, so when you really, when you put it in that in that frame, it's like, well, like with the cost, it's, then what are you really afraid of? It's like you can take it as many times, like you can buy the lab time for as long as you want. And say like you own all the boxes, then you only need to buy like a month of lab time just to be able to take the exam, you know? So you don't even have to spend like $1,000 on it or whatever. Um, so yeah, when you really frame it like that, it's like, there's not really much to be afraid of. I don't really know what people are afraid of. You fail if you fail the exam, you just fail the exam. Like right now, I don't have my OSCP certification, so if I fail it, well, I mean nothing changes. I still don't have it. And on the other hand, if I take it and I pass, well, now I have it, and I have it for life, which is awesome. A lot of the certifications are like, what's really cool about OSCP is a lot of certifications are, um, you know, you have to pay like a fee just to hold them. Um, and you know, have to pay that annually. And then on top of that, every so many years you have to recertify yourself and all this stuff. Well, like with the OSCP, you know, there's no fee associated with holding it and you don't have to like renew it or anything. So like it's great, uh, it's great. There's like really, there's so many benefits to, to, to holding it. And really like, what is the downside really? I'm not seeing it. Um, from a monetary perspective, is not bad. Um, now, I guess the frustration of putting a lot of time into studying for it and then not getting it. But here's the thing: if if at first you don't succeed, you know, you just try again. Like you can just keep trying. You know, try harder, as they say. But um, but yeah, really, there's there's not too much to worry about. Um, I'm feeling fine about everything right now. Um, now that's not to say that I'm necessarily gonna like pass it and like this is going to be easy or anything it's not going to be easy it's going to be pretty freaking hard i'm sure um but you know no pressure really if, if i take it and i fail i take it and i fail um but yeah um that's basically all i wanted to say um like i said let me know in the comment section below if you guys have anything um that you particularly want me to cover i was thinking you know tools techniques stuff like that Maybe even like a walkthrough, a live walkthrough of like um, a hack the box or something like that. Um, or even like a sort of like um, a walkthrough of a hack the box after I'd done it. And, you know, we're maybe just introducing you guys to some new cool tools or techniques or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, let's brainstorm that down in the comment section below. Um, if not, I'll just uh, I'll pick something and I'll. I'll make it happen. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to be making these more frequently. So it will be more recent than normal. So, yep, talk to you guys later.